بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next thing will be understanding so now we discussed in the previous uh, topics like the ip address is divided into four portions we have each portion is group of eight bits we discussed that now these four portions are again divided into network and host now we have something called network portion and the host portion like in the case of a class there is one network portion and the remaining three are host and in the b class there are two network portions and two host portions whereas in the c class there are three network portions and one host portion but now the question is what is exactly the network and host now the host represents one single device in the network like if you take an example this is my network where i have some set of computers connected through switch and i got some router so there are some devices here now each and every individual device will be identified as host so we generally call each device as a host and whereas a network represents the set of devices so this group of devices or the set of devices we call it as network so they all belong to so and so network so the network is a name given to the entire uh, group but whereas individual devices are referred as host so technically those are the definitions so why what is the why there is a network and host portion here just like similar to your uh, flat numbering if you take an example generally if you take any any apartments uh, mostly you will find the numbering will be something like this 433 423 and 418 something like this so whenever i say i'm i'm on fourth floor i'm on 423 flat number so basically you automatically understand that this is on the fourth floor so this basically represents your floor and probably the next numbers you identify them as a room number or the flat number right so similar way here on on fourth floor floor floor, floor is like a common part just like a network here we can compare that and the individual room or the flat is the room number or we can we can call it as a host here now based on this we can identify to which network they belong just like the same way the network portion will identify to which network it belongs and in that network what is the exact ip of that particular host so so based on the same example if i ask you let's say now now based on this let's say if i take an example if i say that 413 and 502 do they belong to the same floors or they side by side or they are on the same floor generally we say no and how we are identifying that based on this floor part so based on the floor part if i clearly see here i can see that this is uh, on the fourth floor the first number represents the floor and the second number is given here you can see the 5 5 is on the fifth floor so which means we we simply say that they are not on the same floors similar way here also by by based on the network portion we need to identify whether they are in the same uh, network or different floor so let's compare this examples here based on this so we need to remember the range so already we know the range we discussed that in the previous based on the first portion so whenever you see this address let's say let, let's me take an example here i got one pc with an ip address of this 192.168.10.11 and i got another pc uh with the ip address of 192.168.10.20 now physically they are connecting to each other so maybe in the same lan physically they are connected so physically we call them as a same network right because they are in the same building same lan same uh, side by side or maybe within the same floor so that is not enough so they must be logically same so they must be logically also should be same then only they will communicate with each other now logically same means they should have the same network portions so the network portion must be same right just like we took the example just now if i say 433 and 512 so in order to be in the same floor the floor part should be same but it is not same here so if i say 433 and 412 then i say they are on the same floor because the floor part is same similar way here also 
the network portion has to be same. So whenever you see this address, so the first thing we need to identify the class. This address belongs to which class? So by seeing the first portion, 192, so the classes are based on the first portion. So 192 comes in the range of uh, C range. So which means this is your C class address. So it's a C class address. Now again, as per the default IP addressing given to us, so the C class will have three network portions. That is a default. We can change. That is based on submitting. We'll see that in the submitting concepts. But by default, as per the given, there are three network portions and one host portion. So network portion, you can compare just like a floor. So which means there are three network portions. In order to be in the same network, the network portion has to be same, which means this should be same. See, I have 182, correct. And 168, 168, same. And 10, 10, same. So this, this is a host portion. Host portion should not be same. It should be different. So which means now, based on this example, we say that these are logically in the same network. So based on logically same network means they do have the same network portion, which means they can communicate. If, if connectivity, everything is proper, then these two devices can easily talk to each other because they are logically in the same networks. If you take the same uh, example, I got one more example here, the same thing, 192.168.10.10, .10, like the first PC is this address, 10.20 and 15.25. Now the same thing, they do physically connected to each other. Physically, they are in the same, same network. I want to decide whether they are logically in the same network or not. Now based on this one end, based on the first portion, I can say that it is under the C class. And in C class, we got three network portions and one host portion. So in order to be in the same network, network portion has to be same. But this is not same. You can see 192, 192 is same. 68, 168, 168 is same. But the third portion is not same. So remember, for the first three portions should be same in C class. In C class, first two should be same. In B class, first uh, sorry, in C class, first three should be same. Whereas in B class, the first two portions should be same. But whereas in the A class, the first portion has to be same. So they can they have given different, uh, slightly different portions, not not as one portion. So this is not in the same network. So likewise, another example. Now this time I'm taking a different class. One seventy two comes in the range of B class. In B class, there are two network portions and two host portions. Now the network portion is same. Only see the two portions because in B class, there are only two network portions, which means this is in the same network. Likewise, if I take another example here, 172.16. Now again, this is a B class address because not in this, in this range, 128 to 191. So it's a B class address, 172. So in the B class, there are two network portions and two host portions, and these two are not same. So they are not in the same network. So likewise, if I take a couple of more examples here, like if we take this example here, this is 10, 10 based on A class. In A class, there is only one network portion. So there is one network and three hosts. So the network portion is same, which means they are in the same, same network. And if you take the second example here, network portion is not same. Again, it is a A class. Network portion is not same, so this is not on the same network. They are in different different subnets or different networks. So whenever you see any IP address, the first thing we need to identify the class. We should be in a position to identify the class. So we need to memorize this range. Remember this range. And then whenever you see two devices, you should be in a position to identify whether they are in the same or different network. So the same or different network is decided based on the network portions. So we have to remember that in A class, there is one portion. In order to be in the same network, the first portion should be same in A class. In the B class, two, two network portions. So in order to be in the same network, the first two portions should be same. And in order to be in the C class, the first three portions should be same. Because in C class, the three network portion has to match.